Welcome to King Cake Princess, I'm Andrea and today I'm going to show you how to create some roses for Mother's Day. I'm going to show you how to create them in fondant icing so that you can use them on top of your cakes. I'm also going to create this cute Mother's Day message for your cakes. But to start off with, I'm going to show you how to create them in Play-Doh first. This is a great project to do with your kitties for Mother's Day or just for fun. It's also a great way for the kitties to learn some cake decorating skills while they're playing. Okay, so I've rolled out some yellow and orange and also some pink Play-Doh. You can find the recipe on my Play-Doh at the end of this video. I've cut out four yellow section, three orange section, and five little pink sections. Now I'm just balling them up into tiny little balls. Now I'm just balling up the first yellow into a little cone shape or a teardrop shape. And then I'm gonna flatten the other three. wrap my first petal around the cone. Now onto my next two yellow petals. Again flattening it down, this time on the table. And you notice I'm flattening one end a little bit thinner than the other. That end will be at the top, which will be the petal part that's showing and that I'm curving over with my finger. Now onto my orange petals, I flatten out the three and wrapping them around. And again, shaping the petal, firstly by pulling each side over and then just using my fingers to create a V to kind of pull it upwards and in. And finally, onto my pink petals, flattening them all down on my table. And then just layering them around, tucking one petal under the other as I go. Shaping the petals by flipping the left side and then the right side of the petal and then just forming the V to push it up and out. And that's your photo rose done. Now I'm just creating the leaf. Just rolling one side of the leaf a little bit thinner so that's more realistic. And then using the bottom of my knife to create some patterns and indents to make it look like it's veins on the leaves. Then when you shape it, you just slightly curve it before placing it on. A great project for your kitties to do, they can place it on their pretend cake. Obviously this is not edible, it's only just for fun. Now moving on to something that is edible, although most people would use this as a keepsake. Okay, now rolling out my fondant icing. I'm cutting out the yellow portion with my palo knife. And again, doing the same thing with my orange portion and my pink portion. The same quantities that I did for the Play-Doh rose, I'm doing now for the fondant rose. Now I'm just placing it under a cup so it doesn't dry out while I'm working on my cone. Okay, so I've just formed my cone. Now I'm just balling up the yellow portions and placing it into a Ziploc bag and pressing it down to shape my petals. Again, I'm pressing down one side, more flatter, the one towards the left. Okay, so now I'm removing the petals, lifting them up gently, and you can see one end is thinner than the other end. The thinner end is obviously going to be the one that's going to be at the top. Okay, now just gluing on with a little bit of water, because you just need something to act as a glue with fondant. 
have wrapped my first petal around the cone and I'm just going to wrap the other two petals around. Just paying attention to where I place it. So kind of like covering up where the first petal joins and ends. And then just tucking in the other petal before I seal it on the other end. Shaping the petal again. And I'm going to repeat the process with the orange and the pink. Now a new store bought fondant. You can find more details about fondant icing in the video description below. If you are liking this video, don't forget to click the like button below. Don't forget to also subscribe if you want to see more creative ideas from my channel. Now shaping the final petals. If you find that the petals are draping back, just put your fingers underneath it and hold it in place as you're shaping it. And that's it, that's your rose done. You can cut off the excess at the bottom if it's too long and place it aside to set. Now moving on to my little message plaque or message ribbon. I've rolled out some white fondant. I'm using my roller cutter to cut out a strip. And I'm going to cut a little triangle out from one side. Just curving it up and then I'm using some edible gold paint to paint on the message. You can also pipe this on with some royal icing if you have it on hand. Or you can also use an edible marker to write out the message. Okay, you can place all these decorations onto your cakes to have a lovely Mother's Day cake. And that's it, that's how to make roses out of Play-Doh and fondant. A fun project for you and your kitties to do together. And if you want to see more from my channel, you can click the links here. You can see how to make my homemade Play-Doh recipe, which is not edible, but heaps of fun. Or you can make my marzipan fruits recipe, which is edible and can mold it very similar to Play-Doh. And if you want to move on to some actual fondant cake decorating, you can click the link to the cake there. And thanks again for watching guys. Have a great Mother's Day. Hope you guys enjoy it with your mum and also your kids if you are a mum yourself. Bye for now, you guys take care.